Watch now. Rob Brandenburg's Senior Night Signature Game. 18 points in 24 minutes of action, and 9 points early. In the first half, to lead the Rams to a great win. Are all set to go here from the Siegel Center. As Reddick will jump center. Against Indoy. You're right, man. They, they packed this house. They weren't expecting a sellout tonight, but then they got it. And you can see why the energy getting behind the Rams. And we are underway, and the tip is won by St. Bonaventure. Charles Ancluf running the point guard. More improved players in the A-10. Man-to-man -man look by BC on the cut down low. Got position, left-handed layup, no good. And the Rams control. Brandenburg until somebody stops him, nobody knows. Oh, what a move, swooping in for the layup. Quickly the other way, and VCU, that's what, that's what the Rams do. They turn you over. And it's a track meet. This is what Coach Smart said. His team is at their best when they dictate the tempo. Right now, up and down, a chaotic style. It's havoc, baby. Yeah, you see that word all over the place on their warm-up jerseys. In the crowd as well. That's what they want to do. Create that havoc. St. Bonaventure, a little zone look here, Jordan. Trying to slow things down. Weber, dribble drive, floater in the lane, way off the mark. And we got a whistle, and we got a reach in foul on VCU. And it, against that 2-3 zone, Frank, what you want to do is carve it out, get into the teeth of the defense, the teeth of that defense being the paint. Weber does a good job getting inside, force the shot, but VCU's okay with that because they like to go back and get it with second chance opportunities. Full court pressure by VCU. Clark double. Trying to get it across the step through. Well done by the Bonnies. For that two man game out top on the dump down. And almost turned over, gathers, trying to gather, and he does. Now to right, he'll try to settle things down with 15 to shoot. Brandenburg's on him, two-man game with him On the double. With eight to shoot, Clark going right. Baseline, but Weber got a piece of it. Missed the shot. And quickly front court comes VCU. Graham, yes, with the jumper. And we got a whistle. And I think we got a push off on St. Bonaventure on the rebound. Stays VCU ball. Reddick does a fantastic job of attacking the rim, trying to create a second chance opportunity. But what you're seeing defensively from VCU already, the double team forcing the bodies to make a decision. But right there, the miss. And yeah, he got pushed out of the way. And clear out of the box, out of missed assignment. And they get another chance at it. They get Marquis Simmons with the push. Almost stolen by St. Bonaventure, but stays. Rams basketball. But Frank, you can almost feel it already. In the first 90 seconds of this game, everything happening at a fever pitch so fast. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can't stop to think the game. You just got to react. VCU better at operating in this type of tempo of a game. St. Bonnie's looks incredibly uncomfortable to start. Try to get it in. They do. But then they turn it over. So uh, St. Bonaventure said, hey, we can turn you over. We can do the exact same thing. Even Coach Schmidt working the sidelines right there. He knows everybody's got to be involved right now. Two zip early going here. Maybe the Rams will apply that full court pressure. Nice crossover dribble. Clark, the distance, the lay in. Can't finish. Rams quickly the other way. You're right, track meet. Graham. Layup. Can't get it to fall down, but he got hit. And he'll shoot two. These guys would all make bad boyfriends. Everybody not committal. Nobody picking up the basketball as it goes from one end to the other. All the way down Fifth Avenue, all the way to the rim, and a finish on both ends. Nobody can convert, but Graham draws the foul. That's the old saying, stop the ball. Stop the ball. Nobody did for St. Bonaventure. That ball needs to be picked up at about three-quarters court. Once you get past the half, you got to meet him ahead of the three-point line. If you haven't, the damage has been done. You're playing it from behind. First offering from Graham is good. See Melvin Johnson checking in for guests. And Simmons takes a seat for St. Bonaventure. And Dion Wright is in there. Early substitute for both squads. Misses second. 
Endoy with the rebound. Three zip. Even on the miss, they'll apply that pressure. Gathers. Tough move with the right hand. Can't get the fall down. For right, knocked out of bounds, and it's VCU ball. Same Bonaventure has taken every shot in the half court before that clock, shot clock dwindles down even 25 seconds. Mm -hmm. Within the first 10 seconds of each possession has been a four shot. But VCU defensively is trying to double team the dribbler and jump him every time to make him turn that ball over and make an errant pass. So far working to their advantage. Screw fall over Weber. Shot clock at 20. Brandenburg. The step back between the legs now trying to cross up. But gathers isn't. Confused, he stays right in front of his man. 12 to shoot. We got a bump out front. Let's see if they got right for the uh, for the uh, bump, and that's exactly right. They get right. That's his first possession for VCU. Wright's yet to get a shot up. The St. Bonaventure leads the team to score. That's critical to this game. Matthew Wright's got to be able to locate his shot and be effective. Right now, unable to do so. Graham Crab Gribble lost it. He's on the deck. Three on one the other way for St. Bonaventure. Gathers. Scoop layup. He can't finish. Still over from the field for St. Bonnie's. Quickly, Weber on the kick. Three ball. Brandenburg. Got it. The senior. And how about this for pressure? Every day. Fall down. As they will uh, take it out baseline. You see the field goals there. Shock is smart. Looking on. And they turn it over on the inbounds. Four of those five field goals were layups. Point blank chip shots. Lewis is in there for VCU off to Johnson. Brandon Berger just hit that three, forcing Coach Schmidt to call it 30 second timeout. Johnson got hit on the pass going up with the left hand and will stay VCU ball. And you're seeing early the respect for the Johnson three-point shot. He's a threat from beyond the arc. Because of that, he commands that attention, which gives him the advantage on the bounce to get to the rim and inevitably draw the foul. It's a VCU team not afraid of contact, especially around the rim. They love to get to the line. And Dale Cumberbatch averaged about eight and four for St. Bonnie's checks in there. Shot clock at 30. Johnson, they swing it around. Ball faking the three on the extra look. Brandenburg, another triple. Got it. That's two for the senior. If it feels good, do it again, Mr. Brandenburg. Nine zip VCU. Lewis all over Kloof on the handoff. You got a whistle though before the shot went up. It's so loud in here you can't even hear the whistle. <laughs> I just happened to see the ref put up his hand. Yeah, you knew the whistle was coming right there. Jaquan Lewis overzealous with the on the ball defense. And that crowd is such a factor here at Single Center. 50th straight sellout. St. Bonnie, St. Brown still looking for their first points. Cumberbatch, free throw line extended. Now for Kloof. He's doubled. And the white jumper. Seal still not broken for St. Bonaventure. Here comes Brandenburg. Doesn't have numbers. Secondary look. Oh, deep triple. Rennick with the offensive rebound. Lewis going to tee up another three. That's short. And I think we got a push on VCU, St. Bonnie Ball. That's a good call right there. Reddick, a man amongst boys, especially on the low block when he's chasing down a rebound. Right there, bodies collide, and they bounce off Reddick. <laughs> it's a clear call for the officials, but you love the fight from your big fella as he takes the seat, doing everything he can to give these Rams the advantage. Almost four minutes in, St. Bonaventure, still nothing. Trail by nine. Right. Thinking three. Jump pass down low. Layup no good. Endoy can't get the finish. Ball's batted around. Still on the deck. And who's got it? We got a jump ball. Jump ball as we go to a timeout. 15 53 left here in the first half. All Rams. Perfect from the field. Two boards. They've got possession. Every kid on this Rams team offensively on the catch tries to do something with it first. Mm -hmm. Not many teams yeah. in the country that have five guys catch, look to score at first, but not in a selfish way. That's how they're taught. That's what makes this offense so dynamic. Quan Lewis, the freshman from Tennessee, talking to Coach Smart before the game. He said this kid has the most potential on the team. He said the sky's the limit with this kid. He can do it all. They just had to hone him in as he learns the freshman adjustments. But when he gets there, watch out, world. Both teams are big subs. Burgess still in there. Weber running the point guard spot. 
Shot clock to 22. Brandon Berg with those eight points. Double. Bounce pass. Good look inside. Can't get the finish. The two shots coming up from Reddick. Good offensive set there from DCU. Yeah, Reddick did a great job loitering on the low block, carving out some space. You get a look at Lewis right there. How about set the Tennessee record for points? 50 points in a game in high school. They love his ability to change ends and make plays happen. Also, a quarterback on a football team in high school. So this kid literally can do it all, Frank. A lot of times you see some uh, very talented guards playing at quarterback spot as well in high school. Can you throw a football? No. Don't lie to me. I'm, I, because no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you did it. Like 20 That's yards. a quick answer, man. Because I, <laughs> because I know the answer. <laughs> if it took me some time, and you know what? I was, I was lying. Reddick won a two. That's what you got to love about. Mr. Hammerhand. He tells you uh, the truth. He gives the people what they want on this broadcast. <laughs> D.C. Burge is taking a seat as Shaka Smart goes very deep into his bench, loves to keep people fresh in and out, puts that pressure on the opposition. That's a great point. 11 deep, so that intensity stays at a high level. 40 minutes long, 40 minutes strong. All right, another triple. That's another one. He's got all six for St. Bonaventure. Right, letting Brandenburg hear about it as he makes his way back on defense right there. Brooks have just checked in, almost turns it over. Redick now. They'll reset. Rubber up top. Which is about nine and three for VCU. The three ball, the great equalizer in college basketball. Dominating this game is VCU, but a couple of threes, and they're within striking distance. Baseline drive. I think that shot was partially blocked. St. Bonaventure to be down nine zip. And then nine points a couple of seconds ago. Had a chance to cut it to four. But Wright doesn't go up strong, and then he picks up a ticky tack foul out of frustration. Yeah, that's just a comedy of errors right there. One mistake compounded by another. When you miss the baby hook at point blank range, get back and defend. You're in great position. Again, St. Bonaventure cannot convert from point blank range. Get back and defend. Yeah. Don't try and jump the little guard in Weber who's quicker, who has the clear control of the basketball. You have no advantage to try and steal it. Get back. Play some defense. So right for St. Bonaventure, 2 of 2. The rest of the team 0 for 9. And look at this. With 12.38 left, already in the bonus is VCU. Coach Smart said it. he wanted to yeah. control the tempo. I think he's doing just that right now at the free throw line. Every piece of this game, minus defending the three-point shot, which is a struggle defensively of the Rams, they've done it all pretty much in this one. See, Wright has to take a seat with three personal fouls. That was just about nine and five for St. Bonaventure, but he's going to have to sit a long time in trouble. Proof. Ball's partially deflected, and then turned over. Break out, Brandenburg. Slam. And this is what you don't want if you're St. Bonaventure. Live ball turnovers. And there's another. Boy, oh boy. You know, Largest I've, lead of the night for VCU. As I've watched this VCU defense, I've said it time and time again. Live ball turnovers is what will kill the opponent. If you're going to turn the ball over, it sounds crazy to say, throw that ball 20 feet into the stands <laughs> so you can get back and defend. A live ball turnover means you get that basketball, you turn your defense and offense, you lay it in it on the other end. You don't want that. There's Cliff. He should be handling it against this press. He gets it over. Coming up on 12 to play first half. As VCU up by 10. Oh, tough bounce pass. But they will group. And right with 16 to shoot. Brought by Brandenburg. They switch out. And almost stolen yet again. Timeout on the floor. VCU.